Agent is kind of our love letter to the old 50s EC comics. Uh, it start, it's a sci-fi book at heart, uh, but we kind of wrap in all of the elements of uh, the action books, the Two-Fisted Tales, and all of that stuff, frontline combat. Um, and it, it's pretty much our book that we've, uh, pretty much any idea we can come up with uh, or whatever we feel like working on, we put it into that book so we can scratch whatever itch we need uh, in the pages of Fear Agent. And uh, so it's, it's really like the perfect book for us. It's pure us, whatever we think of, whatever we want to do uh, is in that book. So it's, it's a Western, it's a war story, it's a, a sci-fi Indiana Jones space adventure. The main character of Fear Agents, Heath Houston, and he's our basically alcohol-soaked uh, space adventurer. He's like Indiana Jones, uh, you know, on a constant bender. You know, he, he went into deep space to escape the heartbreak of Earth. Uh, he, he, his wife, who is still alive, is the only reason he keeps fighting and keep keeps uh, keeps doing what he does, uh, exterminating various aliens and, and whatever. Uh, knowing that she's out there is what keeps him going but he can never go back and okay, see her yeah. because she hates him. Um, and uh, his, his wife's name is Charlotte, and she's the current president of Earth uh, because there are so few survivors on Earth after this giant ap alien apocalypse. Um, and she's the leader of the new fear agents, and he's the last of the old fear agents. And uh, let's see, um, trying to think what other characters we have. Uh, we've got a few different crazy alien races that we've cooked up. We've got the Zaren, which are these basically velociraptors with jetpacks um, and they come along and clean up uh, basically the leftovers between the two other warring races which are the Tataldians who are a, uh, a crush kill destroy race of robots whose uh, basically their goal is to destroy life and replace it with uh, you know their machine life which is more orderly and manageable and it's kind of almost like a religion for them and then the other race are the uh, Oh crap, I'm blanking. Oh, I've lost it. The Dressites, or a, a giant race of amoebas um, who uh, get around in, in spacesuits, so it's basically like a giant uh, goo filled spacesuit. Um, and so, and they're, they're, they're just, uh, they just consume. That's their entire purpose in life. The next arc of Fear Agent, yeah, Eye Against Eye, is uh, a ramped up space western. Uh, Heath gets stranded on a planet that's uh, that's synced out of time, so no one's ever found it. And uh, it turns out it was like once a trading post town, uh, it's planet, and now it's uh, an abandoned like uh, western planet that's uh, you know horribly run by land baron type stuff, and uh, uh, you know it's baked sun baked desert landscape, but you know. With, four or five suns instead of one so everything's like super ex exaggerated and super extreme with like Dr. Seuss cliffs and everything but you know we still get to do like our Sergio Leone spaghetti western but with ray guns and uh, alien beetle men and uh, you know stuff like that. Rick and I met a long time ago uh, when we were both working in small press and uh, after I had done some covers for Rob Zombie's Spook Show International, uh, one of the covers was uh, basically a love letter to EC stuff. Uh, you know, a rocket crashed on a moon with a big crazy tentacle monster. And uh, Rick said, we should be doing a book like this. And uh, so we, we, we talked all night about, you know, our love of EC comics and everything. And we, we cooked up our own uh, way to, to do our love letter to those, those books. And uh, working with Rick's been great. I mean, he's been a friend of mine for a long time, and uh, it's great to have, like, you know, it's a really organic experience, you know. We bounce ideas off of each other, and it's, it's very much a natural conception for this book. <laughs> <laughs>